I'm here today to talk about the uh, Summit SD, uh, Viper SD. It's a 20 pound climbing tree stand. Uh, I'm going to do a couple overviews of another Summit too, and I'm going to compare it to a Lone Wolf. I did an overview on a Lone Wolf last year just to give you an idea of what, what works for me and maybe what might work for you. Uh, I've, I've been hunting for since I've been 20, uh, 12 years old. I'm 40, year, 40 years old now. And, uh, sometimes you get these reviews or you get these companies who put out reviews on their own products and not, not necessarily telling you exactly what's good and what's not good and, and you know field experience and I wanted to bring some experience to to the YouTube uh, channel and give you some ideas of what I do and what I've been doing now uh, I like a lighter tree stand uh, maybe in my early 20s I would I would carry this 20 pound tree stand into the woods but now that you know I'm twice that age I'd rather have something lighter so what do I use this tree stand for? Well, I'm actually in a spot where I hunted this past fall and I left this tree stand as a permanent type setup. And uh, I was fortunate enough to harvest a nice eight point out of this tree stand this year. But this is what I do. Um, well, first off, let's say, let me talk about the tree stand. This thing's very quiet. Uh, it's good, for, it, it's a nice quiet climbing tree stand. But the problem with it is, uh, well, it's, well, let's say this. First, the positive, it's very quiet, it, you know, you're secure in a tree, it locks on pretty well, and I've modified some things, and I take this strap right here, and I loop it up under here, and it's attached, and I pull it tight, and it locks it in really well, and you feel pretty secure. And I also modified this seat. Uh, I cut the back of the seat off, it went up like this, so you could have a backrest. I didn't necessarily care for that because it made me feel like I was too tight into the tree stand. Maybe for a smaller guy, it would, would be nice, but I'm, I'm 6'1", about 225 pounds, so. I'm trying to create some room for myself, especially on cold mornings when you have some extra clothes on. You want to want to have some room and be able to move a little bit. But this this tree stand is quite wide enough, and, and the cushion you can see uh, it's wide enough, probably 18 inches, 18 inches wide, at least 16 inches wide, gives you enough room to sit on. Uh, but I don't necessarily use this as a pack-in type climbing tree stand. I leave it, and how do I leave it? Well. Bring one climbing stick, okay? Bring one climbing stick with you. You can get about four or five feet off the ground with this one climbing stick. And then you have the tree stand up above your head already. You just scoot it up to, a, I'm six foot one. So I'm on here about four foot up, another another six foot up. I'm 10 foot off the ground. Then I raise it above my head. I can get it up about 12 feet off the ground and I can leave it there. And I also use a cable to secure it in. In case anyone gets a bright idea of bringing their climbing stick and taking my tree stand, they're going to have to deal with the cable. So they'd have to have something to cut the cable and the climbing stick. So the likelihood for that to happen is probably a lot lesser than uh, any other chances. But I leave it here, okay? And what, what I do is when I come in, in the morning, I have my climbing stick right here. I attach that very quickly. It doesn't take much time at all, seconds. And I get up on the tree stand and then I climb up. I'm already about 10, 12 feet up and I climb up about another eight to 10 feet. So I'm roughly 20 feet in the tree and it's a nice height for me. I feel comfortable 20 foot up and uh, secured, you know, you're above the deer. And I also have it situated where I have cover around me and I have holes that I can shoot through. And basically the deer would have to walk right up to me and look straight up in my spot. And I've had a lot of deer come through here and it's a really nice location. It's what I call a hub. Um, and there are trails coming in from five, six, six different directions and they just converge here. One day I was here, I saw 30 deer. Uh, but this tree stand set, why did I use this summit? Because a lot of these other hang on tree stands are very uncomfortable and you've got to bring steps and all that stuff. And I'm not dealing with it. I bring a climbing stick and I put this thing on my back. I put that thing, put this tree stand in a, in, in a tree about 10 or 12 feet. And I leave it, come back and I only carry my two and a half pound climbing stick. So. I'm pretty mobile. If I want to move this thing very quickly to another tree 50 yards away, I can do that. So it's just another interesting way or a nice uh, way to be mobile yet permanent in a way. So because I don't like how this thing carries on my back and I don't want to carry it around into the woods a mile, mile and a half all the time, I get it to where I want to be and I leave it. I think it could work for people. It's sort of, you know, I don't know how many people thought of this. I'm sure there are others thought of it but I just wanted to put it out there on the YouTube channel so get people thinking so when you're thinking about next year what, what you might want to do uh, because you think about it once you get a, an actual hang on tree stand 
and, and usually have to buy the steps separate. I mean, you can be into three, four hundred dollars. Might as well just buy one of these, right? And you can leave it, and it's even more comfortable, and uh, it, it's mobile, and you're not carrying all that metal into the woods. Uh, so it works out for me. Maybe give it a try, see what you think about it. Like I said, I'm going to compare this tree stand to another summit, and I'm going to compare this, these two summits to another lone wolf. And I'm not, I'm not. Uh, there's not one company that I like better than the other. I go with what works. I try different things out, and I'm going to start bringing uh, more ideas to the channel on the things that I use in the out in the woods, along with some of the stuff I do in my habitat on my my own property. This isn't my property. This is property where I have basically free permission to hunt. And there are a few other guys who hunted, but it's a thousand acres, so there's a lot of space. I have sort of sectioned off areas that I want to hunt where I have the most buck sign and most travel corridors and I've done a pretty good job of figuring out some of these spots. As I said I harvested the nice eight point over here last year another end of the property I harvested a, a, a ten point so I'm doing pretty good uh, or not last, last year the eight point year before last the ten point so I'm doing pretty good and I like this setup maybe you can try this setup and good luck to you and with all your habitat chores this spring and into the summer and before you know it it'll be it'll be fall again and I'll be sitting right here in this tree, guaranteed. Good luck to everybody.